Hi there, welcome to another week. This week we've got planes, we've got bees, we've got fast bikes, we've got fireworks, we've got a bit of all sorts and some rain as well. And so yeah, enjoy the video. Monday night so just down doing the, the the daily watering and we're having a bit of an issue with things burning off so I've just actually put some grass clippings along the uh, what was a interesting color in the sky there so grass clippings along to see if that just kind of protects them a bit and I'm not going to water them in the morning I will water these ones which are all just getting a good dose because these don't seem to be minding it too much so today we put some rhubarb out into the honesty box up at little meadow farm and uh, it went within hours of going up there which is absolutely fantastic so we are going to try and do that again once the uh, plant's got a bit more on it um so a little bit of all sorts going on it is just you know the idea of lovely local produce so if we can get lovely local produce um produced and grown then why not you know we'll we'll sell what whatever we can put up there so um just having an issue with these lettuces uh they're just really struggling with the temperatures now there is rain possibly in the forecast so out of the the main forecast like the bbc the met office uh accuweather and met check i think it is three out of the four of them are saying possible rain on saturday um but obviously saturday is a long way away from monday and we all know what forecasting is like and how it works so i'm not going to count my chickens till it's hatched till the eggs have hatched um so at that point we, we're just hoping it does now that is a race date so i'm hoping for the sake of the racing it just rains overnight which would be brilliant for us and good for the racing as well so roads were not closed today no and so they shut tomorrow so tomorrow i will go and get some footage of the bikes because i'm blocked out i live inside the circuit so um, i live not very far that way from here and um, so i've run out of hands so um and at which point i'm out until the roads open at five o'clock ish so uh we'll uh, go and get some footage of them going past uh, i could maybe go down into the front field which is probably the fastest section of the course and see if i can get a video of them going past there because it is crazy they're doing 200 mile an hour plus down there um so not just your normal racing this is crazy speeds racing but yeah another fantastic day weather wise another brilliant sunset so yeah we'll see you tomorrow things you have to do for tt farm access only no through road plenty of people being cutting through so uh that should hopefully discourage them we most of the year that we can drive out of both sides of the farmyard but um during tt we shut the gates on the far side but we've had quite a lot of bikes coming down through which is a little unsafe if not annoying because obviously they can't go anywhere and they generally come down here quite fast so hopefully that sign will let them know they can't get out the other side so we're all good So something which is quite interesting is with this weep hose, we're leaving, we're putting a lot more water down than we were with the other hose. So this row here, um, we haven't actually watered yet this morning. Uh, that's still the moisture from last night. 
So that is going to get a water. I'll move. I'll move that hose over to that side in a minute. But it's like I filled the tank up yesterday, and that had a thousand liters in it. So we've watered. Was it yesterday? Day before yesterday. So in two days we've put 200 liters down. Whereas first time I filled that tank up, uh, it was we. That, that was like four days worth whilst using the hose so we're definitely getting a lot more water down which is really good the lettuces are looking fantastic now we have got rain forecast tonight so it'll be interesting to see what difference that makes to all these other rows which are looking very brown there are some things in there but not an awful lot so let me just find the the uh, gas bell even here here we go, we've got stuff in the radish. Your radish is always guaranteed to come up. <laughs> if they get burnt off, you know that it's been doing something. So um, yeah, looking forward to them kind of coming a bit more. But uh, yeah, I was just quite surprised by the amount of water that that wee pose can put out. <laughs> Just having a try of a different way of watering. These are his lettuces, as you can see. So, just going to give this uh, weeper hose a try. They were watered this morning, so in the other row you can see they're still fairly damp. So, see how this goes. There's a bit struggling with water pressure, but I think that's down to the pump. And this area up here where the grass clippings are is where we planted the rocket the other day. So, if you just have a look there, that's one of the plants, they're all kind of been burnt off. So I put the grass over just to try and give them a bit of a rest and uh, see how that goes. But uh, yeah, they're definitely struggling. I think it's just this unprecedented dry spell is causing so many issues. You're at 25 days without rain now, uh, at least. And I think last time we had rain, it wasn't very good. Now the plants, which are a bit bigger, have done a lot better. The ones, the sunflowers and the pumpkins we put in have really started to kind of come true and they're doing really well. It's just these little things which are going in on the ridges are really struggling and I'm guessing a lot of it is due to how dry the ridges are. So just here, these ones have got turnips in and uh, I've put them the, the video just before. They're not doing brilliant, but they're still there. So that's at least something. Um, but then once you come up into these areas that were recently seeded, there is absolutely nothing showing apart from one piece of spinach. That's spinach. And nothing on the one next to it. We do have radishes showing. Uh, let me find the radishes. So this row with the green running along it here, these are the radishes. Now radishes kind of grow anywhere and very well. Not quite sure what happened there, but those are supposed to be up on the top there. But they're definitely um, radish. So this is radish, radish, and there'll be spring onion on either side, of which I don't think there's much showing on them. Um, no, can't see anything on the spring onions. But even just now, you know, as the sun's just come out then, you, you can feel and see how strong it is um, that it's just burning everything off so we've got a bit more cloud cover uh, higher pressure is easing a bit and we're more likely to be getting a bit of low pressure coming in I think parts of the UK are forecasting some thunderstorms which would be nice if we get anything like that you know a nice bit of heavy rain 
I'll put some moisture back into the soil. I am going to really actively try and see if I can get the means to plant on the flat instead of planting on ridges because I do believe the ridges is what's causing the issue with how dry everything has gone. So we'll, we'll see about that. Um, I'm not quite sure how to do it because the um, web at the same time as they made my precision drill made one which had a precision drill which would drill on the flat rather than on the ridge. So I don't know if there's something I can do to my drill to allow me to do that but I just need to have a, a bit of a uh, look at it and see what I can work out. So road's closed again for the TT today and uh, this is... Uh, would normally be penultimate day of racing, but they're now shut on Friday and Saturday. Friday is a bank holiday here. It's the uh, senior race day. Uh, so hopefully I'll try and get a bit more footage of that. It was the side carts this morning. I went to try and get some footage just before down the road and they'd all gone past by the time I got there and they were doing three laps and there's not that many of them. So it's half an hour till the background and at which point I needed to be back at work. So. Yeah, we'll see how this goes with this watering hose because the advantage of that is I can leave that going and me do something else um, and uh, give it a go this evening. It seems to be putting a fair bit of water down and it, the more I put down, the more it'll soak in and it's doing it a lot slower but kind of consistent whereas if I'm there with the hose, a lot of it's running off. So hopefully that does something. And I need to get some more seedlings planted. Well, more seeds planted to make seedlings. Um, so I'm going to do that. I don't. I might try and get a little bit of a, a video of that, um, and we'll just see where we're at. But that seems to be going all right. It's only been on for about five minutes, and it seems to be putting quite a lot of water in. But it's only 15 meters long, so it's not going to do a massive area. But it's just to get them established, and then once they're up and going, they can grow. Um, I am contemplating running a horse pipe across, so instead of on here, we'll, we'll actually run on a pipe. I can get a pipe from the other side, so then I've got mains pressure, which will help things a bit better. Uh, I'll just have to see what the farmer says about that. So yeah, progress, get in there. What a week this has been. Hopefully, come Saturday evening, so tomorrow, a little bit of rain, that'd be lovely. Um, it is forecast, so that's gonna make a big difference. It's also going to help all the weeds grow. Those ones off behind me, I'm out. With the weed in now. there. Um, so yeah, TT nearly over and done with. Uh, two more races tomorrow, I think it is. Uh, we've got the fireworks on tonight, so um, myself and my boys are going to head down to that one and we'll um, see what they're like. Uh, everything's growing, mostly. Uh, well, I'll say everything's growing. All the pumpkins are growing really well. They're doing absolutely splendid. The rest of the veggies are getting there. We've been harvesting some rhubarb, which we've got, and we've been getting that sold, which is really nice to have uh, an extra something going out and um, yeah I've been planting more seeds so just this afternoon I was sowing up the or oh, more selection of lettuces which are currently watering over there so the wee pose is working 
and it means that whilst it's watering I don't have to stand there with the hose I'm able to walk around with the hoe instead of the hose and uh, do something else so that's been really good so I'm going to look to see if I can upgrade that and put two of them in uh, and even run a water pipe because there is there's there's a there's a pipe just over here so I can run that across with a hundred and odd meter pipe uh, which will then give me mains pressure because uh, you can see the IBC kneecanks is in front of the pickup you might be able to see it um that's what i've been using so that's the second time i've had it full so we've used once that's gone that'll be 2500 liters of water has gone onto these plants which is uh, rather a lot uh, whilst we're down this neck of the woods uh, this is the area which i sowed some wildflowers in they're not really doing too much just yet but they went in very late so they might come back and do something and all the elderberries uh into flower so I'm currently looking to see if I can do some elderberry cordial, uh, which would be just nice, some, something off that. And they're, they're just all the way along the boundary here. So we've got this, this section here, um, which gave me a bit of space when I was plowing. So I didn't have to go right in next to the edge. And it was very wet down here when I was plowing, which is so funny considering what it's like now. So next week, um, the island's back to normal. Um, clubs, events, school, everything's back on and people moving around so it's going to be uh, fairly busy i'm still going to have to keep on top of this watering i think so that's going to be uh, morning and evening uh, as it has been um depending what happens with the rain we are meant to get really hot next week um the whole of the uk i think we're up kind of like 20 25 um well 25 over here we've had 21 last week um i really don't cope very well with these temperatures so that's going to be even more interesting and the funny thing is when you're out here and it's like that the the temperature which comes back up at you off the soil is is crazy you kind of get baked from both directions so we'll see how that goes but you know a bit of rain in the forecast possibly a bit of damper air might be a thunderstorm or two that'd be really cool uh, i do like thunderstorms um yeah and then other than that uh we've I've received my new seed drilling wheel, which I think I'm gonna try and have a go with on Sunday. I've invited the guy who's made it for us to come up and we're gonna have a, uh, a little try with that on Sunday. It's been set up to plant sunflower seeds, but there's many other seeds which are too big for the currently drill wheels, which will fit in this. Even if two go through, that's all right. And it's only got three holes around the whole thing of it. So it's nicely spaced. So I'm gonna have a go at re-drilling some beetroot. I think we've, we've got uh, a bit of seed of that, not an awful lot, but we've got some seed left. Um, and, oh, there's the hair. I've just walked all the way around the hair. I came down that, the side of that area. So I tried to get a video of him this morning. He was uh, over in the, in, the, in the crop over there. And when I pulled in, he, well, actually, he was just on my little grass bit in front of the pickup there. And uh, when I pulled in, he um, hopped off into the crop. And I thought, oh, well, that's right. And then he came back to come back onto the ground. Well, I'm saying he, I don't know. It might be a she. And so I tried to set the camera up at the end, but they didn't come back again. I thought that could have been quite funny. Uh, but he was hopping back down towards me quite merrily. He's, uh... It's lovely to see him. Absolutely fantastic. And, you know, I'm not really too worried about them doing too much damage. And hopefully there's, well, there is two of them. So hopefully it's a breeding pair, which would be quite cool. Um, but they're happily living in the various things. They like lying in between the rows of parsnips. So I think it must be because it's really warm here. Uh, did I just see another set of ears? No, no, I didn't. Oh, that'd have been funny. Um, so yeah, I've not seen much sign of the buzzards. They, they seem to have disappeared off somewhere. You know, they were here all winter, um, which was lovely to hear them over the top, but not heard them too much. Um, or maybe the bikes have just scared them off and they'll come back so yeah but no thank you so much for watching and uh, i'll try and put a little clip of the uh, fireworks on at the end and uh, we'll we'll see you next week you know cheers for everything really appreciate it uh, as i say we do have a patreon site i'm still trying to work out how to work that so please bear with me um and uh we'll we'll get stuff sorted we'll go from there thank you very much take care Morning. So that's everything watered. Uh, just gonna get on the tractor, put the trailer on, and get rid of some grain that we've got. Just to have a quick check. All good. Yeah.
Yep, everything looks all right there. The roads are closing at 10 o'clock for the racing. Now, I don't want to be out today. I'm going to be in with the family, have a bit of a day. It is a bank holiday on the Isle of Man, so I don't really want to be working, but this work kind of needs to be done. So, so just going to be moving some old grain, which, let me hook this up first. So it's just some, some grain which uh, got a bit of moisture into it and, and stuff so I'm just going to have a bit of a clear out of that and get rid of it. So I'm not going to bother putting any hydraulics on because I'm not tipping it today, I'm just getting it out of the shed. So at which point it's fine just sitting in the trailer. straight across the barn door. Now really annoyingly, I just started Kind of packing up the, ooh, that's stuck on there. packing up the barn and moving everything. So the the feed mixer is is down there, and I was going to give it a wash off. And then someone messages yesterday to say they're going to get ten ton of wheat drop down. Can we mill it? Um, which is annoying, really, because well, the mixer's normally here, uh, the mill's normally in place, so. Everything's kind of in bits, so need to work out what I can do. Ooh, can I move that? If we get that out of the way, we'll work it out. Oh, and the telehandler's got a flat tire. So back to my short that went kind of crazy. Two and a half thousand views. Don't worry, it's only flat at the bottom. But that's very flat at the bottom. Right. 